Hello everyone and welcome to this quick instructional video on how to use the admin stick. It's a script I made, it's ULX based and it will allow your staff members to quickly manipulate players, stopping them and uh, kicking them and what so, to, uh, to make them work more efficiently basically. I'll try to do this quick as I have already fucked up I uh, think 17 times <laughs> due to the wonderful bots of uh, Gary Smart. So let's get straight to it. First of all, all staff members, uh, this is of course configurable, uh, they start with the admin stick when they spawn. But uh, you can acquire it by other means if you don't spawn with it some, for some reason. You can do slash stick in the chat and you will get an admin stick. You can also spawn it using the console as underscore give stick and that will give the stick as well. Now, of course, you don't want uh, you don't want non-staff members to go around picking up these sticks and manipulating people. So, um, if I change myself to a non-staff job uh, or rank rather, let me just make me a member. There we go. I cannot pick up these. You are not allowed to pick up the admin stick. So there's no risk of uh, any players picking these up and uh, falsely using them. Uh, let me just make myself a developer again. And of course, now that I'm a staff member, I can uh, pick them up. Now, to use the stick, you simply uh, left click a player, this is a bot, and you get a nice menu with uh, different rows. Yeah. First row is just their name, the player's name, and their Steam ID. Now, because this is a bot, his Steam ID is null. Uh, in the second row, I can return them if I transported, the, teleported them, sorry, somewhere. I can uh, return them back. Uh, the next row, additional information, just gives me a bit more, I, you know, gives me their name again and their Steam ID, as well as their job and their wallet amount. Now for the next row, we have administration, where I can uh, do things like kicking, banning, no clipping and adding and subtracting money. Um, and then we have moderation, where I can set the health, the armor, jail them and so forth. So this is pretty straightforward. You will be prompted with all the information that the command needs when you choose one. So if I say want to add and subtract some money, I get this nice little box and I can say, okay, I'm going to give him $5,000. And here we go. He has his previous salary, salary sorry, of 680 plus the $5,000. I can, of course, uh, remove money as well. And uh, there we go. And now he only has $1,680. So this isn't a default ULX feature, but it uh, it's something pretty useful. Um, I can uh, I can kick him and ban him. This is pretty much uh, this has pretty much the same prompt. I uh, I can provide a reason, and then just press enter, and he'll be kicked. Let me just get a new butt, and uh, let me just go to him. There we go. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, that actually brings me to the second feature. If you uh, right click instead of left clicking, you will freeze and unfreeze bots. Oh, well, place, sorry. This is really nice if you want to stop one, re stop someone real quick if they're breaking some rules. And it uh, just makes it a lot easier to uh, to prevent, prevent some inconvenient uh, situations. Now let's just unfreeze him again. I can, uh, you know, I can go on with these. I can set his health to one. I can uh, I could jail him for a bit, jail him for three seconds. There we go. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And then I can unfreeze and freeze him again. For some reason, he doesn't want to move. So let's just ban him. We'll ban him for permanently because he's not moving. Oh, I can't ban a bot. My bad. Well, you get the idea. Let's get another bot. Um, now, sometimes if you're not in viewing range of people, say if you know, I'm somewhere else on the map and I can't really either target them or can't get a hold of them, I can simply reload the stick, pressing R, and I will get a playlist with all the players and the ability to go to them or bring them. So if I bring bot 5, there we go. Here he is. And of course, I can use the nice return feature in the main menu and return him back to his original location. Really nice. Now, there's one last feature I want to show you, which is a door feature. Now, 
not a lot of uh, admin mod I see out there add uh, handling for doors, uh, especially in Dark RP. So I wanted that in here because as an admin, it's pretty, uh, you know, it's it's not good if you come to a situation and you can't even open a door and you're an admin. So if you uh, just left click a door with the stick, you'll get an, a door menu. This tells me that this door is unowned and it gives me in the uh, ability to unlock or lock the door and print door info. This is more of a developer thing, so I can print the info and it will show up here in the console. Um, now, and of course I can lock the door, I can't open it, and I can unlock it. Now I can open it. And uh, of course if someone uh, owns this door, if I buy these, it give me a different menu, fill the pusters door, and I'll get another option called remove owner. So I can remove the owner of the door. There we go. If someone has disconnected or doesn't want to respond. So this this makes it really easy to you know handle any door inconveniences really easily. And uh yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.